Good afternoon and thank you for joining today's session requested by Global Green Books Publishing. In today's session, I will present a strategic approach given the challenges that the company is experiencing at the moment. Before we do that, let's go ahead and quickly go through the agenda and what we will discuss for the next 10 minutes. First, just a quick background on myself and my professional experience. Next, let's identify the top three problem areas that Global Green Books Publishing is going through. Then I'll go through what kind of framework we will use to address the issues identified. Then we will discuss the strategy and its implementation. Lastly, we'll summarize the recommendations. So about me, very quickly, uh, I'm a tech professional with 15 years of experience working in the business side, product and operations. I'm a certified in, uh, I'm a certified in product development as a product owner. I have background in operations management and outsourcing and offshoring industry. Lastly, I'm a Six Sigma practitioner, and that gives me a knack in problem solving. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, deep dive into the issue. So based on the brief that was provided to me and after a thorough analysis, we can all agree that Global Green Books Publishing is growing. And that is not a problem, but that is a good problem to have. But as a result of that growth, the company, together with Samantha, is experiencing three challenges at the same time. First, increase in number of projects. Second, increase in complex roles for the team. And lastly, increase in conflicts. So all three challenges represents an opportunity to improve the business and its leadership and its people. All right, so now um, with that in mind, we will use the 6S approach to provide solutions on these challenges. First, strategy. So this represents the plan of action to respond to the internal and external changes that a company is facing right now. Skills, this points to the employees' capabilities and competencies. Staff, this reflects to the employees at large. Style, this is the leadership style of the managers in the organization. Systems, the processes and procedures within the company. And lastly, the shared values, this will act as the guiding principles for an organization. So let's begin with skills and staff. This represents the human element in the organization. So apart from technical skills in publishing and basic soft skills mentioned, uh, on the brief, there are more specific capabilities that can enhance, that can enhance the team effectiveness. So uh, we have identified here some theory and framework to address the conflicts within the, manage within the team. Uh, we have the DIS theory. And for team cohesion, we have the Delencioni model and grip model for team effectiveness. But aside from working on the technical and soft skills side, we also recommend some business leadership training. This is to improve the team's business acumen so uh, they can sustain the growth of the company. Next, um, an effective uh, manager should also be able to handle stress and uncertainty and have excellent time management skills. So this points to the soft skills. But uh, in terms of uh, expansion, uh, we should also involve the human resource team to fill in the gaps in terms of the skill set needed by the company. We also have here uh, some tools that you can use, the RASI chart, to identify who should be doing what and who should be responsible for the specific uh, roles and responsibilities. Alright, moving to style. Um, Given the current situation, a transformational leadership style could be very effective for Global Green Books Publishing. This is going to be a challenge for Samantha because this involves skills development, motivation, a culture of learning, and change management. So this involves inspiring the employees to exceed their own individual performance as well as the goal of the companies by fostering, like I mentioned, a culture of learning and change management. Diving on onto strategy, I've combined both short-term and long-term strategy, which you can discuss with the management and the training and human resource team because this involves additional hiring of staff. On skills enhancement, uh, design and implement a short-term training program, like I mentioned in the previous slides, on the immediate skills needed by the team. And if workload is increasing faster than the existing staff, it might be beneficial to bring in temporary staff or freelancers. And on the third one, uh, introducing project management tools can help streamline 
workflows, improve communication, and provide better visibility of project statuses. This will aid in better distribution and management of tasks among the team. Um, lastly, establishing a project management office. When setting up a PMO, it's important to align its goals to the strategic goals of the company. So that brings me into the systems part. So there are three flavors of PMO. There's a directive, supportive, and controlling. So this PMO uh, function is designed to meet the specific needs and context of the company and review and adjust the PMO's role over time as the needs change. So uh, in this case, a supportive PMO in my analysis offers a consultative role to projects by supplying templates, best practice, training, and access to information and lesson learns from other projects. This is something that I would recommend for Global Green Books Publishing. Now, based on the top priority issues and opportunities that the company is facing, I've cross-referenced them to three focus that should be the center of the company values. First, teamwork. Second, continuous learning. And lastly, client satisfaction. These three values are common among the elements that I presented. And at the same time, these values focus on improving the company employees and its clients. In summary, our recommendations for Global Green Books Publishing uses, using the 6S framework is as follows. Appropriate training for skills upgrade, talent acquisition, and skill set matching for the staff and its employees, a transformational leadership style for Samantha, tools and system enhancement to support the business, a shift towards PMO to support the company's growing projects, and lastly, fostering a culture of learning, teamwork, and client satisfaction. This ends the presentation and we open the floor for questions.